Oh, you've returned safe from... Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. That Qmor punk is really a lousy guy. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? It's probably some kind of disease. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but... At this rate, they're gonna send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen. If I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family... Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Estelle. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person who'll reasonably listen to the words of a princess. Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita? Don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Qmore out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but... I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Qmore, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. The only cure for stupidity is death. I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. Q more. It's you! What are you doing here? Someone! Someone come quick! You would cross swords with a noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. No! How oh, could this? You talk too much, Qmor. The time's come for you to make your exit. D do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? <laughs> Wait! I'm not the one to blame! I've just been following orders! I had no choice! Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait! How about this? 
I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start. I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead. Tell me what it is you want. There's only one thing I want from you. Uh, and what might that... No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kilmore, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become Commandant! I beg you, spare my life! Please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting. Down at the lake. Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Yes, it's a great relief to know the people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! But q -more might just cause more pain somewhere else. You watch. Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time. Right, Yuri? Oh, uh, yeah. Yuri? Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. What happened to Patty? She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Shut up. Huh? The old man's asleep already? That was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back.
Why don't you have a seat? You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill two more? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rigo? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, Sorry you had to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all! They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen? Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the Hunting Blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <sighs> Captain! Understood. Sir! Yuri? I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal, Wait! Repeat! Yuri... So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey. It's true, the things you've done are against the law, but I... I'm confused. It's also true that your actions saved the lives of others. You never know. Someday I might turn my blade on you. You'd never do something like that without a reason. If you ever end up pointing your sword at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. <sighs> if you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. You seem like he was in a hurry. No. I'm gonna continue on this journey with you. It's what I want. Traveling with you, I know I'll find the right path for myself, too. So what I'm thinking is... Here's to the road ahead. Thanks.
Oh, I haven't sawed logs like that for a good long while. Ugh. Yeah, it's called oversleeping. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Hey, old man, your eyes are all droopy. What? That's not good. Jeez. Huh? There are fewer nights than before. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? They wanted to eat some fish, so they went back to Nordopolica. Oh, come on, Patty. They're not like you. Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the knights. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Paul Estrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the Knights. I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? If I can't go to Nordopolica, I can't get on a ship. If I don't get on a ship, I won't be able to find the Maristella or recover my memory. That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the Air Crenet and Kados. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right, let's head out. Things are bound to improve here in Mantake, now that Flynn's liberated the town. They did allow the ringleader to escape, though. Humor? Flynn will catch him in no time, right, Yuri? Hmm? Oh yeah, sure he will. Is something wrong? He looked troubled. Estelle's not her usual perky self, either. Th that's not true. I'm as happy as you all are that Mantake's been freed. If you say so. Your friend is quite talented, considering the ease with which he saved Mantake. Who, Flynn? That was nothing for him. You know him really well, don't you, Yuri? Well, we've hung around together since we were kids. You don't hang around together much anymore, though. <sighs> Yuri?
Thank you. 